and it becomes a greater uh, a greater thing than even the love that your mother has for you for her son you know between us and Yahweh and and teaching these uh, these men of Israel you know we're all we're all in this together teaching each other together sealing the, the truth in our foreheads together all right wisdom exalteth her children and layeth hold of them that seek her and that's who we are we're actually that word children should be sons so wisdom exalteth her sons what sons are we talking about it's the sons of israel the 144,000. all right that's what exalts us is this wisdom and we exalt each other by by putting out these videos you know he that loveth her loveth life and they that seek her early shall be filled with joy, all right? And that her is dealing with the wisdom, you know? We're loving our life. We're, we're seeking her early because we're seeking her before the destruction. We're seeking her before the microchip, a.k.a. Mark of the Beast, all right? He that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory, and wheresoever she entereth, the Lord will bless. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One, and them that love her, the Lord doth love. So, you know, we should love wisdom, man. When we read this, this Bible, we realize that wisdom exceeds everything on the planet Earth, you know. It exceeds gold, it exceeds silver, it exceeds uh, women, it exceeds... And it literally, it, there's nothing better than wisdom, man. Verse 15, Whoso giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. So who is that? That's the elect men. All right? We become judges of the nations through wisdom, through this knowledge and power, through Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Raka Kudash. All right? We're, we're learning this truth, we're learning these laws, we're learning these commandments, we're learning these statutes, we're learning the true wisdom and knowledge, you know, and that is what gives us the ability to, to judge the nations, because now we, we have wisdom, we, we know what, you know, we know Yahweh's word, and, and that's what we use to judge people, you know, it's our duty. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. See, so we do it every day. We're committed to this truth. We're committed to this knowledge. We're committed to doing the videos. We're committed to going out to camp. And we're going to inherit her, the Bible says, if we just stay committed, stay faithful. For at first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him, and torment him with her dis discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. See? So even wisdom will test you, you know? <laughs> when you first become in this knowledge and this truth, yeah, you might get a little down at first. Can you realize, well, in the beginning, maybe you thought maybe you bit off more than you could chew, you know? Maybe you didn't, you didn't realize the, the, you know, the, what was required of you, you know? You didn't realize you had to go to camp, you know, and every week, sometimes twice a week. I remember when I first started doing this, I was doing camps three times a week in some cases, you know. And it was a discipline, you know. I couldn't just say, oh, I'm going to take camp off or, or, you know, I would feel guilty uh, if I had to leave the brother out by himself, you know. Because when I first started doing the camps, so there, you know, there was a point in time when I was doing it with, there were days when it was just me and one other brother, you know, the brother Kalyal, 